guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a fantastic, awesome, amazing Dollar Tree haul for you. I found some fantastic new crafting items at my local Dollar Trees here in my area. But first, I do wanna to talk to you about a pair of shoes that were sent to me and I thought I would share them with you. Yes, they were sent to me, but the opinion is my own. Uh, so a company called Fitville reached out to me, that's F-I-T-V-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and asked if I would like to try their shoes, tennis shoes. I said, well, sure. So I read up a little bit on them. Um, these are, they come in wide width and double wide, so they're made for a wider foot. They are um, orthopedically sound, so they have a good arch in them, and they're made to fit for the larger foot and I liked that. And fun fact, I needed new black shoes to wear to work at the Schottenstein Center and at the stadium where I walk on cement all the time. So I wanted to wear them a couple times before I did this little talk to you and I think they're great. The toe box is nice and wide and the, the sole, this is what I liked. So I it was very balanced, I didn't feel like I was rolling out of my shoe especially if your foot tends to roll um there's a same thing on the heel side and there's a substantial sole to it which is nice um this feels like a little bit of velvet and the laces are long enough i hate when i buy a wide width shoe and the laces are too short because they don't take into consideration that my foot's wider, I need a longer shoelace. So that is nice. Um, they're wide in the heel as well, which was almost a little too wide for me. But if you ever notice this second hole back here that's usually never laced, if you lace that and then tie your shoe, it holds your heel in. I've had no issues. I wore these twice, once at the shoe and once at the Schottenstein Center, and they've been very comfortable. Um, they're $99, I think, um, but I do have a code that I'll put in the drop down box below. So thank you for taking the time to listen to that and all my other content because that helps me bring you new stuff. All right, let's get into the Dollar Tree haul because I am excited. First and foremost, for Sarah, I got her some silken tofu. I do not eat this stuff, but she does. Um, it is firm tofu soybean product. This is soft, extra firm, firm, oh, firm. Um, good through date. I don't know. This stuff lasts forever, right? This is good until February 16th of 2023. So if you or somebody in your family likes tofu, I found this at the Dollar Tree. I know, right? Um, do I have any other non, no, I think that was it for like, oh, I bought these for Luna and this is water buffalo jerky dog treats and it's all natural and the only ingredient is water buffalo meat. Let me tell you, it stinks. It is nasty, but I'm sure the dogs like it. I did give one to Luna. She didn't seem to like it. She's a little picky dog, but yeah, so they're all natural. I'll give these to my brother to give to his dog because Jody will eat them up. So I grabbed that, and then I think that's it for, like, foodie. If I come across anything else, I will let you know. Um, I did pick up one of these over-the-door hangers. Not a new item, but I will tell you, the white ones felt very cheap to me. This one definitely is sturdy. I would say this is the more sturdy of the ones they sell. It will hold one, two, three, four. Actually, you know, depending on what hook you use. I actually got these to hang up my embroidery floss when I put them on uh, rings. And then I can hang them from here and they won't get all tangled up. So I thought what I would do is maybe even make like a zipper dress or suit um, bag for it. And then it'll keep the floss tidy. So I grabbed that. We'll see if it happens, but I thought that was, I liked that and I had seen that and wanted to pick it up. Um, I'm sorry, what are these? I need to take these out. I know what they are, they're wooden blocks. But they're like, they have the rounded corners. They're six-sided, just like any. The possibilities, guys, are endless on this. But I've never seen these before in my store. So I did grab four packages of them. So if I want to spell out any words, also you can make a Yahtzee game with these. That would be fun or any type of games with the kids. It's just raw wood. 
paint them up, stain them, seal them, do whatever. Make a little snowman for the uh, Christmas time. Like that would be a cute little snowman. Put a little hat or paint that like a hat. I mean, they're, it's it's awesome. And three of the little blocks for $1.25, I thought was a good deal. So I picked that up. Let's put all the crafty stuff in the bag. Then I found these. Now this is the chalkboard, which they have had. I'm sorry, dry erase board. What the heck? So all the stuff I found came in white, which is feels like a dry erase board to me. It just says wood hanging black whiteboard. So I believe this is because it's super shiny. So we have the dry erase board and the chalkboard. And these I believe are an eight by eight. They don't sell. I mean, they don't, they don't say. The date on the back is December of 2021. So I think these are new. I've never seen them in my store, but think of all the possibilities. You could attach them together, make different, like a window frame out of them. If you use the white and then maybe put some cling stickers down. I don't know, they're just, I like them. I like them a lot. So I grabbed two, one of each of those to do some crafting. I did see all the seashore stuff at my one store. I'm not, I don't have a nautical theme. Well, that's not true. My bathroom and my basement is, but I don't need anything for down there. But I did pick up these fish because I think they're adorable for my cat decor. You know, cause little fishes. So I thought, well, these are cute. They had these and these are just uh, with the clothespins on the back and they had like mermaids and sailboats and I think what they're doing is they're splitting between or they're doubling the theme between sea and lake life because I, I saw a little bit of both but definitely a water theme and then what the heck this is a it's metal now the back I feel like is cardboard they could have done something better but what I might do is get a hard um one of the canvas on the board and attach it to the back just to give it a little more stability. I'm using this for magnets. I attach my needle minders to it that I have for my cross stitching and fa different magnetic things to it and putting it with my crafty business. And it worked just fine. They're showing it here like this and they, it looks like they may have attached some clothes pins, but this is magnetic. So I would definitely say, Utilize your magnets, but I never saw this. I don't know if it has the measurement on it. Nope, it does not. But I feel like it could be, I don't have a ruler. Anyway, it's decent, decent size. I'll have to see if I can find the matching board. Also, I picked up these. Now, they've had these before. This is in the nautical theme as well. And this is a cutlery set. Um, nice fork spoons. You get a set of four. I love these when I go picnicking or um, here in Columbus. The Columbus Symphony does picnic with the pops. And I already have a ticket to go see one show. And I got um, these to put in with my lunch or my dinner because you pack a picnic. So I grabbed those. Um, I did find they brought these bags back. I will tell you the fabric on this one's a little cheaper. However, I will also tell you it's an even weave. You can cross stitch on that. <laughs> to get a blank one, you could totally cross stitch on this. I don't know what the count would be, but you can. It's a little rough, but whatever. And this one says, bloom and grow and it has like a ink printing on it and then it's just a it's just a bag let's see what the top looks like but I want to say I might have seen some plain ones and oops if you wanted to like decorate your own you totally could do that Okay, so these are different. The ones I got before, it was all one piece. This handle is sewn on. But still, these are fantastic for, um, I take them to the grocery store all the time when I go to Aldi. I keep them in my car in a big bag. Hi, Alex. In a big bag. And they're great for that. I just use them at the grocery. And they had different ones, but I grabbed the gnome. Hi, are you going to come over here, sir? Let's see if he'll come over. Come here, Alex. Come here. Our 
friends, they want to say hi to you. Yeah. But let's not show them your butt. Yeah, let's not do that. Thank you. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, here is Alex. Oh, you say hello to our friends? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll get you down. He said, stop grabbing me. Don't get so handsy. Oh, Wellington. God love him. I took him to the vet uh, last week because it's his allergy season and he's been like coughing and wheezing and he, he needed a steroids, but they were trying to like check his ears and mouth and he just kept doing this. I mean, he wasn't being aggressive with them, but they ended up wrapping him in a towel because he wouldn't sit still. I said, sir, I'm going to need you to listen to the doctor. Okay, next. I found these at the Dollar Tree. I feel like I just hauled these from Canada's Dollarama, and they were $1.25 Canadian. We need a picture for a thumbnail. But these were a dollar US. And this one here has music notes, bicycle. That's why I got this one. Sunglasses, a camera, star. And then this one has the butterfly, the cloud, the crown, duh. Look at the little bird and flowers. And I believe you get three, four. I don't want to open them because I don't want them to fall out all over the place yet. Four or five of each one of these. How adorable is this little bird? It just reminds me of the Partridge family. I love it. So I might make some little stitch markers. I don't know. We'll see. Hearts. We'll see what else they come out with. And they're in this little, keep this little tray. And if you have some kids, you could do tic-tac-toe with them and make this a tic-tac-toe board. And everybody get a different, you know, character. I just thought these were fantastic and fun. And I love these little wooden pieces to decorate with. Guys, I'm telling you, this was a fantastic haul. I found two packs of these. This is the Hand and Nail Gloves um, Be Pure brand, one pair. And then you just put them on your hands and it's like deep moisturizes. Um, it does say they're touchscreen compatible. So I guess if you have them on and you need to use your phone, you can. I mean, it's only 15 minutes, but I love hand masks and foot masks, especially, you know, when your skin is dry. So I grabbed two. We'll see what they do or how well they work out. Then I found these, and they have this in black, gray, white, and gold, and each one says something different. So this says, our family gathers here, and this one says, home sweet home. I may redo this piece on these and put them in my kitchen. They are plastic, for sure. You can take them apart. So if you wanted to maybe put some like plastic in between to make it look like a reel and they have a hanger, but I think these are just adorable, just leaning on a shelf. I like them. They feel very farmhouse boho to me. I think it's a kind of like a boho farmhouse thing, but yeah, I like them. You can stick them together like that and put them on a wall. I don't know. You can make ears. Super cute. Love those. Love those. All right. One more bag. Guys, I told you. I found, and this is all brand new. Okay. You ready? And I have seen other people haul these. Don't forget your fetch rewards. Look at the size of these. They're huge. And this one just says, less is more unless it's coffee. And this one says, too much Monday, not enough coffee. I might redo these for my coffee bar and make like seasonal ones for Christmas or some, like we use one for summer and then make a new one because you just get the shape of the coffee cup and you can totally paint your own and cover it how you want. And there is a kickstand on the back and they're so big. These are perfect. And I know they had like Mother's Day themed ones as well. I know, aren't these awesome? I love how big they are. Like that is everything to me, how large these things are. I mean, that's my hand. These would show up, especially if you have a large tier tray or a lot of like empty space to fill, that would be fantastic. So we grab those. And then, oh, I grabbed 
one more of these. This is just the little uh, glass jar to hold needles for my um, table mate gifts when we go to Canada. And I have an idea for my table mate gifts and I'll just throw a jar in there with that. But I wanted to grab them while I saw them. Okay, again, with the chalkboard and then the whiteboard, dry erase. And you get two sets of tags for $1.25. So this came together. And you can do them at Christmas time or any holiday, a gift tag, take them off the string and use one tag. But I, this is the dry erase. And then I grab the chalk in the square or a rectangle, sorry. And you do also get two with the black. I don't use them as chalkboards. I like to put white um, Cricut on it. And they're dirty. They need to, they're dusty. So I grab this size. And again, look how nice and big these are. Um, oh, and then I found this. And this is going to be saved for Christmas. It says believe, but look how big. I think last year's believe was like that size. These are big and you get two of these wooden cutouts. And I think this is fantastic. And I love the font and you can use that anytime, but I'm using that for Christmas 100%. Um, these must be coming back into style, but these are uh, tiles from what's that game? You know the game. can't remember the name. Well, anyway, alphabet tiles. You get 26. I'm assuming it's the alphabet. So I did grab two sets of these and they also came in black and white. I like the natural. So that's what I got. And yeah, I might need to get another set for them. But we get 26. Like I said, I'm assuming that is one of each letter of the alphabet and they did a good job um putting them on scrabble i heard you all scrabble tiles so yeah i love it i think that is so fun it is very farmhouse but i'm thinking i can do a twist with it um they had these this is glass ceramic probably glass with a frame on the back and a kickstand they had it in this Rectangle, yeah. They had it in a circle and then they had it in like the fancy shape. Think weddings, think menu. You could totally write on this with dry erase marker and wipe it off or Sharpie and then use alcohol to get it off. If you were having a charcuterie board or a buffet or you want to put a note at somebody's table or you have a cricket, I mean, it, the possibilities are endless. It is a cream color. So it's not a true white and they all had kind of like little bumpies and bubbles, but for a dollar 25, especially if you were having like a wedding or some type of reception or an area where you were putting uh, food and stuff that you wanted to like, you know, label what it is. Perfect for that. I'm telling you, I was like in shock. And then they have these pieces. This is obviously the mason jar. I need to wash these off. Um, the raffia bow will come off. And I love it. I mean, I love the mason jar in general. But can you just imagine putting like lemonade or iced tea or some little sign on here and put it in your kitchen for summer? Or there, it's a hanger, but that can come off. There is no kickstand, but you could glue like a tumbling tower block or something to the back and it will stand up and I love it and the white is on here but if you didn't want all this white paint it black just paint it solid black and then do what you will but I like I like the you know the white outline I don't care for that but I can fix that and again look how big and they have multiple shapes of this and this is just that MDF wood guys we're oh I did get three I did get three of the Scrabble tiles in the natural. I'm debating if I need to go back and get more. Okay, and then I have a few more things to share. And I will open this. 
again with the signage this is smaller i didn't see this with the white and i'm not saying it didn't exist um i just didn't see it at the one store but i also need to do my stores again soon i haven't i didn't go the last couple days i've been busy but this is one of those a-frame stands which i think are fun the old-fashioned advertising stands and I love that it comes in plastic to protect the chalkboard. So it's an A stand. It has a little string here to hold it from falling down. And they even matched the colors. But you could easily paint this. There's little piano hinges at the top. I mean, details here, guys. Details. Now it needs a little sanding. But you could make a two-sided, again, buffet, coffee station, tiered tray, Put a message out, put a note, stick it on the stove, dishwasher clean, dishwasher dirty. I mean, it's endless possibilities. Um, so I grabbed two because I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with them. But again, this stuff I feel like is going to go really fast, especially at my stores where my crafty stuff tends to fly off the shelves. Or stuff I've never even seen has it coming on. Um, also, if you're a Christmas crafter, I would go in now and look for these or maybe order them online. But look at the size of this. It is ceramic. And the front is glazed, the back is not. Can you imagine Christmas ornaments on these? And then they have the tag ones. They're a little heavy. I mean, these are, these are glazed ceramics. And I don't know if they had other shapes, I can't remember, but I grabbed these two thinking they would make some fun Christmas ornaments, gift tags, or any type, anything. You could put a butterfly on here, hang it up, a personalized message. I mean, again, these are just crafting blanks. The only thing holding you back is your own imagination. I will tell you at my store, when the lady was ringing me out, she was just throwing them in the bag. I was like, can we not break this stuff? Like, I don't care if they don't wrap it in paper, but let's not just throw it in the bag. But it held up. The back is raw ceramic. It's raw whatever. So it probably could use a, a paint. Or these even could maybe make coasters, a small depending what you want to do with those holes, you could put it on a base and make it like a little tear tray or like a miniature pedestal. But I like these a lot and they had these options. Now of the three stores I went to, these were at the, if you're local to me, Broad Street in Reynoldsburg out by the TJ Maxx, Torrid and da Target area out that way broad towards uh, Reynoldsburg towards Pickerington and Pataskala. So that is everything I found at my Dollar Tree this trip. And I'm so excited and I cannot wait to, yeah, I need to organize my craft space. Let's be truthful here. I need to get this place organized. I need to purge a bunch of old stuff and start doing some crafts with the new stuff. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later. Bye.